Now the delivery system is necessary to keep the bacteria alive as it travels through the harsh stomach acids that are found in all of us. So if you have a, a substance that doesn't uh, protect the bacteria through that acid barrier, guess why that acid barrier is there in your stomach? To not only digest your protein, but to keep unwanted bacteria out. So it not only keeps out the bad bacteria, it keeps out the good bacteria. So in my uh, experience, I have found that an oil matrix is the most significant protector of these bacteria. Oil is not digested in the stomach. Uh, oil is emulsified by bile acids that are secreted by your bile duct. So the oil literally protects the bacteria inside the stomach until it you know, passes the stomach into the upper small intestine and then is emulsified by bile. And then science tells us why if these bacteria are exposed to bile salts, they should be uh, bile tolerant or bile resistant. Otherwise, they're not gonna survive that. It is rather complex, so if somebody doesn't understand the science, uh, not many of these good bacteria are gonna survive to do you much good. Okay, so oil is the best delivery system for the probiotic bacteria to make it to the small intestine. Then there's something we call uh, the intrinsic supernatant. When you grow this bacteria, all the things that they convert uh, during their fermentation cycle is part of their living environment. Uh, what most manufacturers do is that they separate the bacteria cells from this living environment because it's a lot cheaper to uh, freeze dry just the concentration of the cells than to freeze dry all of it together. But once you throw out this growth medium or supernatant, you're losing a lot because these bacteria have already secreted under controlled conditions very important biological byproducts that are important for your intestinal health. Uh, one of the many things that they secrete is called the bacteriocin, which are natural an antagonists to pathogens or bad bacteria that are found in your GI tract. Uh, and they could be a source of peptides, amino acids, uh, a host of other beneficial uh, byproducts that are found in that supernatant. And the supernatant also acts as a buffer when these bacteria are trying to pass the stomach acids. So uh, a product that has its intrinsic uh, a supernatant can be uh, almost 50% more beneficial than a product who does not have its uh, supernatant. So you have to look for a product that has the supernatant in it as well. And many people uh, assume that probiotics that are uh, put in enterocoated capsule is a sufficient protection or delivery system. Well, there is no proof that enterocoding protects, uh, you know, probiotic products. Uh, there's people who have so-called so tested the enterocoding in their internal laboratory, but there's no third-party verification that it's good. And one thing I do know about enterocoding is that it exposes the bacteria to a lot of moisture. If you expose the bacteria to a lot of moisture during the shelf life, they're gonna rapidly start multiplying and die. So maybe you have or you don't have some protection with the enterocoding through the stomach acid, but if the bacteria die because there's too much moisture caused by the enterocoding, you may have nothing left to protect in the uh, first place. So that's what I, I'm just giving you the basics right now because you need to be asking those three questions. Avoid it enterocoding, look for a manufacturer who knows about the delivery system and has chosen the bacteria because of their uh, high quality and their ability to survive uh, the harsh stomach environment.